Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Games Cast, episode 357. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Corey Feinsod. Yo. And Tony Korkanakis. Hello. What's up, guys? Welcome, listeners and viewers, to episode 357. Uh, we have a leak episode for NPDs, right? Leaky shit. Yep. Drop. Yeah, so uh, a little bit of a leak. We didn't get all the numbers yet, but uh, we do have some NPD stuff to talk about early, which is crazy, because I was expecting to do this next week, but... Um, It'll be full-blown for, for next week. Full-blown. This is just the tip. Yeah, it's just, just, the tip. just the tip. Just the tip. So... The number one hardware of the month uh, looks to be it's going to be the Nintendo Switch. This is what the leak has at 222,000 units. Um, and uh, PlayStation 4, very close at 217,000 units uh, with 3DS numbers on here, which means this is what I want to talk about here. The 3DS is listed at 105, and there's no Xbox on this list. Now, normally I would say that would make the Xbox lower than 100,000 units. And I stopped myself from writing that in our... Um, Slack chat because I was like, well, I'm like looking at the list and, and, and I even read this on, on NeoGAF where I was like, the guy even in the software section said there's no way that Microsoft sold less than 384,000 units of software for the month. So it clearly doesn't include Xbox numbers. So yeah, unless it sold less than 384,000 software units, there's no possible way. There's no way that a Switch console that has far fewer install base sold Seven hundred, double the amount of software than than Microsoft did in the month. What, what would Microsoft have sold? Oh, I would say closer to uh, PS4. Well, not closer, but you know, one point two. You think they're selling a million copies of software a month? I would, I would, I would hope. Actually, I would hope with their install base. I and would what hope. What games? What well, games? Do the math with uh, do the math with the the money that was involved. The revenues involved left 140 million off the table, so that would leave about 110 to 120 million units uh, million dollars for Microsoft. I mean, mm. still the people are still buying stuff. It's not like they're not. Well, buying no, no, no. It's just... I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's zero, but uh, it's not. I would be surprised if it's a million. No, but it's not less than 384,000 units. Right. So the, but, the, the numbers are clearly not on the list here. Okay, right. But the thing is, I think it is pretty likely that the system, the Xbox One system, sold less than 105,000, and they're just reporting the software to go I mean, along with right. the hardware. Yeah, I mean, it's not saying it's out. I'm not saying it's not out of the question, because I was going to write stuff like that in Slack. We're going to talk about the abysmal numbers that Microsoft just put up here, if that's the case. But then I was like, you know, the numbers for their software are on this list either, so maybe it doesn't include their numbers for some reason. It, it is mm -hmm. early. It is early. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. But anyways, as I just rattled off, the numbers for software, PlayStation did a fantastic job this month. 2.2, uh, 2.3 really, million units essentially. Mm -hmm. um, Switch did 736, 736,000, and 3DS at 384,000. Um, 332,000 units of what Nintendo Switch sold were Splatoon 2. The number one selling system, uh, game of the month, apparently, in which we're going to get the whole list as we get more numbers. So we'll talk about that then. But um, an, a solid debut for the for the game. Very uh, solid. I wouldn't say exceptional, but very good. Mm -hmm. It's good numbers. Um, They're good. I, I guess it depends on what your... Expectations were? Yeah. I mean, it's a slow month, but... I don't know. I... I 500,000 units? Well, how does that compare to Mario Kart? Mario Kart killed Mario Kart it. was like half a million. Okay. So, I don't know. I, I, kind of, I thought it was going to be that. Deal. I thought it was going to be in the same ballpark there, but I know it's Mario Kart, but I don't know. The way the, the hype that we were, I was hearing for Splatoon, I thought it was going to be more than that. So, I, I expected it to be number one. Don't get me wrong. It just, I, and, it, and it is. It's just a little lower. And I don't, I don't think anybody's disappointed in these numbers. I'm not saying I'm. it's not terrible. It's just less than I expected. That's all. So, I mean, with, um, it, it just seems I mean, like it just seems like switch the the switch um, player base right now, like the switch owners, uh, because there's not as many as the other consoles. I mean, releases are now getting picked up very good tie-in ratio, and I felt like that was a lower tie-in ratio than I expected. Well, I mean, there's only one point seven. Yeah, maybe not even two million. I, I, I don't, don't think it's think two, million. two million. I don't think it's two million. Two and, million in the. But I, I expected America. a better tie-in ratio for Splatoon. Is what I'm saying. 
Like twenty five percent. Yeah, yeah, I think that's you know, and maybe it is there. Is that maybe twenty five? Maybe that is it. I don't know, but they were doing so well, much better with. I mean, look at Mario Kart's tie-in ratio at that point. What was that? You know, that is about right. Yeah, but I mean, that's that's. It's not really fair to compare it to Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not comparing like it to Zelda. The, how did <laughs> I'm not arms comparing do? It to Zelda. Arms. Arms did like right? 250 yeah. or 200. Thousand. Okay. Yeah. I think it did 250. Um, yeah, we can. We can I, I, I kind of thought that Splatoon 2 would have done uh, about 400. Yeah, I mean but it's. It's close. It's close. It's it's not 200, not close. 250,000 copies. Yeah, so. so it beat that by mm-hmm. six, uh, 70, 80. Yeah. I mean, the other thing to consider is, like, it's still supply contained. Like, Nintendo actually shipped more Switch units to Japan for July than they did to North America. That's where that's where the freaking game is a juggernaut. That is, like, a cultural phenomenon. I mean, it sold 600,000 units in the first week. The first week yeah. there. Yeah. Um, it's definitely going to be the first Switch game in Japan to, to hit a million units. So. Yeah. yeah. I think that... Um... It's nice to see the switch. We were saying this earlier too. It's nice to see the switch in the stores. Um, red, I mean, available. Well, we see it all the time. Yeah, I'm here. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I mean, our area. I guess nobody plays video games. I don't know, but I do. We do. Make, we do have good finds usually in our area. Easier finds of things, which is why I was pissed. I never found the the fucking unicorn. But, um, <laughs> anyways, uh. I just, you know, I'm, I'm like I said, I was in I was in Target again real quick today when I went to stop for Starbucks, and uh, I just checked, and that one switch is still there. So if anybody wants to go, it's over there to switch in the, in the Hackettstown, New Jersey, Hackettstown, New Jersey. Well, man, giving our location away here. Not our location. <laughs> I think we've given it away. <laughs> yeah, a couple times. Not our. Yeah, location. I saw. Oh, how many did I see? Three or four? I figured where it was Target or something. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, no, I saw them at Walmart and Target over the weekend, oh. and Best Buy had a bunch. Yeah. I saw I saw blue and red Joy-Cons. I was like, ooh, and I was like, ooh. I saw all, these? I saw all gray How much are they, how much are they retail? 80. Yeah, they're too, they're too okay. much. It's like, um, aftermarket, they're like 130, 140. What? Uh, yeah, the, the special painted ones. Oh, they're so nice. Wait, wait which special painted ones? Uh, oh, they're just the neon blue and... Red, I thought I saw them for like. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. There's special custom paint job ones I was reading on, like when I was thinking of doing this myself. That people they were selling for like 140. What? Yeah. Shit, if that's true, I'm gonna go back and fucking get them. I thought the neon ones were selling for more, just because they were hard to find. Wow. Oh, maybe, but. Anyway, uh, maybe, kind of... maybe they were the Splatoon colored ones. Not the Splatoon the ones are a hundred. Holy shit. That's I, didn't, I haven't seen those at all. All right. I, yeah, if you can paint them yourself, then go for it. Yeah, it's it's funny because in Japan actually they just because you can order from directly from Nintendo their website. You can actually pick your Joy-Con and Joy-Con strap color customizations completely now. So we'll get nice. we'll get we'll get that. That'd soon. be cool if they did like the uh, the Microsoft thing with their game like their mm-hmm. controllers that they have. That would be cool yeah. to have a the Joy-Con one. Yeah, that would be pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, let's continue into the... Well, we're talking into, um, I guess, sales numbers here. We're going to continue with sales numbers, talking about Microsoft. <laughs> there was news leaked earlier from an insider reporting uh, that the Xbox division has never been profitable from Microsoft, ever. Year to year, obviously. Well, I don't, I don't know if that's the way that we were supposed to interpret it. That's the way I, I read it as, but... Um, the way I, I personally interpreted it was that if you start from when they started investing in Xbox to today, they still have not turned a profit. Like, mm-hmm. if you're just, like, starting, like, oh, what so they you're spent saying, and then you're what they... during the later 360 years, they they were making money on the system, but they still hadn't... Obviously, the 360 is a bad example because they lost, like, $1.5 billion on Red Ring of Death. Right, but, exactly. Yeah, so... Because, I mean, Xbox One, it was only out for four years. They killed it early. Yeah. Just like Nintendo did with the Wii U recently. Um, you know, Xbox 360 stumbled out of the gate a little bit, had the red ring of death, but then they got their second win with the prolonged generation and the Connect and the Slim model. Uh, and they were riding high for a while, but then, um, and Xbox One, yeah, we're currently living in that situation right now, so no, it's not hard, yeah, definitely not hard to believe that they didn't haven't made money overall. Mm-hmm. I mean, like yeah. you said, they absolutely made some money here and there, some years, but... yeah. They, I can't see them recouping what they've lost. And as far as the Red Ring and Death was gigantic. I mean, that was yeah, 
every like that wasn't just oh one here and there that was everyone every if you every didn't have one. a red ring of death you were the exception yeah, yeah. it's not like uh, you had one either you had one two three or four sometimes like people yeah. went through multiple systems yeah yeah and you know one of the other like small uh, smaller signs to me um and is can i could turn it into a pun was uh going to new york city recently you know i met up with uh Boone and ashley at times square mm. and ever since like the original Xbox launch back in 2001, I remember every time I went to New York City, at Times Square they had a specific Xbox logo sign in Times Square. I think it was on the east side or whatever, but I remember it specifically. And then this year, you know, I look, it's not there. Hmm. I don't know if it booed or anything, but I was like, hmm. That's well, Micro- Microsoft's head- well, Microsoft's got their headquarter building right there. That's why it's usually yeah. right there. I mean, Microsoft's building is right there. I walked past it the other day. So maybe like, maybe a mood, but I just remember it being in this one yeah. specific area. Huh. It well, they but... did outline a little bit of their Gamescom stuff coming up too, which it sounds. I'm I'm really I'm going to say I really hope that it would be cool that they announced the Age of Empire Xbox game. That'd be really great. Okay. I mean, I, that's something. Why that actually would you would want be... to play that on your Xbox? It works. It does Why? work because it, I've seen it work. I mean, oh. you play XCOM. XCOM is kind of a top-down mouse-click ga- kind of game that they've converted into. Uh, XCOM is a turn-based strategy game. Yeah, I know. It's a turn-based one, but yeah, I, th- I don't know. I think it could work. I'd be interested in it. Does Halo Wars work? I don't know. I've never played it. I don't have any issues playing nobody, that one. Nobody, I, yeah. I've Age of Empires. It. I mean, people like it. Halo Wars 2. They like that game. I, I mean, know. I'm not one of them. I just don't see it. I, I don't <laughs> think... Dozens of us. Yeah. Dozens. I know. I'm, li- I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, they're supposed to have a bunch of stuff shown. I'm expecting pre-orders to open up for the X console, which I feel like they've blundered massively um, for what they've announced. So, Anyway, so that's, that's your Microsoft news. Deathmatch mode coming to Overwatch. It's being tested already, right? On the PTR? Yeah. Very, very, Still very hard. Some work. Oh, I've, I've read. Yeah, they need some balancing. They, they're doing some balancing right now. So, um, I guess... It's not the kind of game that do, really you can do leads what, to a death match. No, it's a team-based game that isn't... I guess it's an objective. And it's a lot of killing. And like, if killing is based, though. Like You're always with those objectives. If you make I mean, it just about the killing... death match is more for like a game that has characters that are all kind of similar. That's the thing, like, they were saying that the matchup direct, one of the articles I was reading, I think it was on Kotaku, was uh, a May versus um, uh, 40, uh, Soldier, uh, mm-hmm. and, and it just was like, they were just like basically online dancing, the way it was, neither of them were killing each other, because one was being frozen, the other one would then move, run away, and then it was just like a hit and run kind of thing, it was just, it wasn't, it, it became not fun. So, but they, mm-hmm. you know, so there's still a lot of balancing involved, and I guess they're, they're going through with it, but. Yeah. Well, it's it's a new another mode, but it's not yeah. one that I would particularly care for in Overwatch. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, last in the news part, I have the uh, the sniping issue with the streamers. I, we didn't get to talk about mm-hmm. this last week, um, so I wanted to mention this now. I, I wanted to hear what you guys thought about doing like what that's ha- what's happening with that. Uh, Tony, you know the st- the Twitch stream snipers. So yeah, like, like people are like watching somebody stream and then queuing up or joining their server or whatever and then using their stream position to help like get you got an advantage and stuff like that yeah and the thing is like i kind of understand it's it's kind of a shitty thing but when you're a streamer i mean like don't make don't make your shit so um public that people know how to you know find you i guess i mean yeah yeah i mean you're the idea here is like i mean you got people watching you and and, you know, I don't know if they're fans that are doing that. That's usually, like, trolls, right? I guess the trolls would be doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... No, of course. Well, I mean, people who want to win, you know. Yeah. I mean, what's happening is they're like... Yeah, I've heard it from uh, uh, Player Unknown, the Battlegrounds. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what's happening. They're, like, basically following people around with a truck honking the horn in that game, which is... You can't do in that game. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, it's funny when you hear about it, but... Um, it must be frustrating. For I mean, at guys. least it's not swatting. I mean, that's no, just you're the right. worst thing like, you this could is, ever do. Yeah, at least this is not. This is not involving the outside real world police and stuff like that. You know, that's yeah. I mean, that's that's true. Uh, I'm, I mean, like, I don't know. I, I feel like if I agree with Tony on this, where if you make 
it that public where you are and what you're doing uh and people just want to jump into the game you can't stop that i mean that's whatever dude you're they're the yeah. one streaming that's your choice man yeah. i mean that's your i mean you're a streamer you're gonna have people watching you want people watching you. yeah yeah it's gonna happen i mean it's like you know back in the day when you had halo up on the split screen and you then golden eye on the split screen you just watch other people and see where they were sometimes yep yeah, that's. I mean, we used to no screen watching was the was the honor system rule, but there's always like the quick peek, you know. It's like where where we are, where where's he at? Okay, I see that wall. I know where he is. It's amazing how if you think about Golden, now you just got me on a tangent, but you remember like how like you go back to that game, just, it looks so bad, and yet we were like so good at discovering where people were in that game, like just by looking at the wall they're in front of. You're like, I know where they are. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing because the graphics are terrible in that game. It's oh, they haven't aged. I just like how do we ever get around in that game? I have no idea how we did that. I tried playing it in the past like year or so, and I I could. It's like that thing where you know you don't realize over time the glass is getting dirty. You can't really see out the, too well, and then all of a sudden somebody wipes it clean. You're like oh my god, I can see now. Was it um? Yep. I think I was listening to to Cheapy talk, Cheapy D talk about um Starcraft's remaster. And he was saying, like, when he saw the remastered graphics, he's like, this is the way the game looks. And then he's like, and then he's like, no, 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 wait, that was in my mind. If you actually look at the old images, you're like, wow, that's the way that looks, you know. But when you see yeah. what's updated, you're like, Jesus, that, that's the way, I mean, in my mind, that's what I pictured. And I, I remember yeah, doing and that. That's with... what 3D, like, they look at, like, remember when PlayStation first came out and stuff, you're like, that, what was that fighting game called? Toshiden or Battle something? Battle Arena, yeah. Battle Arena Toshiden. Toshiden. Yeah, like, you look at it like, oh man, 3D graphics, virtual fighter, this is amazing, 3D graphics. And it's like, oh boy, that's just, it does not hold up. Yeah. Whereas sprites, those hold up forever, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sprites are forever. Well, let's, uh, let's get into what we've been up to then and talk about sprites. Um, Go for it. Yeah, man. So I think by now we've pro- all three of us have now picked up Sonic Mania, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So, yeah, and I've played it. And, uh, you know, I haven't, like I said, I left my Switch at home, which, I mean, this game wasn't out yet either, but um, it basically pushed Splatoon back a little bit, even though I did play Splatoon. Um, but, man, Sonic Mania, uh, it is Sonic. I mean, like, listen, I'll make fun of, like, it's no Mario. Mario is a superior game in all aspects of the platforming genre. I'm sorry. But I love the Mario You don't have to apologize for that, Jim. But it is Sonic, and there's a charm to that. Uh, running through the course, going through the as, as fast as you can, and, and not slowing down, even though it happens in this game quite often to me so far. Um, but yeah, man, it's excellent. Like it's it's Sonic the way you want to remember it, and that's the way it is. I mean, that's talking about remembering old games. Uh, yeah, I I just it has much better frame rates now. There's no drop in frames uh, like it did on uh, um, the Genesis uh, and on my obviously Game Gear one that I played. I don't remember Genesis dropping frames really. There was frame rate issues on those. It was in the book, actually. We just read. They talked about the frame rates. No, oh, I'm sure. I'm just saying. I don't remember because it wasn't a exactly. thing at that time. Exactly. If you go back, it's, it's the goggles. It's the it's the it's the age goggles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, because blast processing was a fictional feature that didn't exist. Remember? So, yeah, absolutely. The Genesis just wasn't that powerful. I mean, 16 bit. <laughs> yeah. So, but, um, anyways, uh, I like I said, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, Corey, did you get to play any of it? Yeah, I played a little bit. I mean, it's exactly what you your memory of what Sonic was is now. It's like you remember it being this. So that's great. And I think that uh, they finally, not maybe learned, but they finally were saying, like, let's get people that are passionate about the, the franchise and what it was to make the game because uh, we've just been stumbling and not really understanding what we were doing. Uh, because people, they forgot. They forgot what Sonic was. And you get people that are super passionate about it, that are still trying to do things with that game today. So they, you get them to make your game for you, and it and it is what you wanted it to be. It's what you wanted a, you know, Sonic 4 to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know, Tony. Did you play it, Tony? At all? Yeah, yeah. I, I played uh, probably about a half hour or so. Um, it's really awesome. I... I, I Really love actually how the beginning is super close to um, the beginning of Sonic Three, mm-hmm. uh, with the, you know the plane and the island and everything like that. And uh, even like the first level, you're just like, okay, that's that's cool. It just tugs on the nostalgia. The well, first level, yeah, Sonic One's first yeah. level. 
Well, not completely. I don't know. Not, if it's a, they did make some changes, but I mean, like that first part where you just like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah that's the exactly first part. The same. Yeah, exactly. So that was that was really cool to see and, and experience. Um, the I got one Chaos Emerald already, and I beat one bonus level where you have to collect the spheres. Oh my god, that gives me such like a headache now. Like, I'm just, just that perspective with the 3D and you're just like, do, do, do. And it's yeah, like, yeah. Doo, doo, doo. and it just like gets fast. I'm like, oh my God. And, um, kind of the one thing I guess I, I disliked about the Sonic games is like, if you mess that up, I don't think you could try again, right? Like you're just... Well, you gotta go back you to the, start the level over again. Do you? Okay, yeah. But I mean, you couldn't really do that in the Genesis Sonic games. I don't, I don't know, but I know that I messed that up already. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it... I, I hope I can go back. <laughs> yeah, I, there's but multiple no. game save slots at least in this. They really gave yeah. me a lot. So. I mean, the games back then too were so short that yeah. it really well, it was kind of like made to be replayed. This is only twelve stages, sense. and I think it was, is it three acts per stage or five? Usually, there's three. I think it's three. So yeah, I don't know what exactly. I haven't finished Act One. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, no, it's cool to be able to pick. I picked uh, Sonic and Tails combo first, so... Mm -hmm, that's what I did. Yeah. Classic. Um, but, no, I mean, you could just tell that it, you know, what you're saying, Corey, it, it is a labor of love. Um, the people that help develop this game, make this yeah. game, really, um, are super passionate about Sonic. They want to represent Sonic accurately. They want to pay respect to the past franchise, you know, uh, games in the franchise, but still want to do new things and really cool things and... It's just awesome seeing the classic sprites with new stuff, like a new kind of coat to it a little bit. Mm -hmm. The music is phenomenal. Um, just awesome. Uh, stuff like that. And, you know, I, I've never been, like, a Sonic fanboy, but Sonic 3 is, like, my favorite Sonic game. So this being, like, right in line with that is super awesome. And it launching for 1999 is just icing yeah no-brainer yeah. that's why it's like when i had a eShop credit remember that's i just talked about eShop credit from gamestop that's yeah that's why i got it before like i woke up this morning and i was like go oh, i had 60 dollars in credit i'm like i know what i'm getting here so there we go it was a quick easy purchase and that's a great price point for this game like you said it's a freaking instant buy in my opinion so mm -hmm. uh, yeah, especially absolutely. especially on the switch it's perfect because it's the go to go the mm -hmm. game fits for me to go like it's a good perfect portable game really i mean it's a it, yeah. little plate in little small chunks it's great so, yeah and being able to like you know detach the joy con to give tails to somebody else like that's yeah, that's that's pretty cool, cool. yeah you know? yeah which i haven't tried that feature yet but it's cool yeah and uh what's this but no i hope it's successful i hope sega is able to reap the rewards for you know doing something that uh treats their character right uh, i know they want to do stuff with sonic force and whatnot not for me you know it's for a different audience um but in an age where you know we can't get a new Mega Man, we can't get a new Contra, can't get a new Castlevania, um, seeing you know somebody respect one of the greats from the original days is just super awesome. Uh, and I hope you know it's successful not only for Sega, but I hope it spurs other companies to do the same with their older franchises. And at least with the Switch, I, I think we're seeing that. Um, you know, we have Pac Man, we have Sonic, we have Mario, Zelda, like all this stuff, all the SNK, Neo Geo stuff, uh, arcade games coming out it's just uh, I mean, Black said, Master was it this it was the last podcast I think you said like there's nostalgia factor for everything that's coming out yep. you said I mean, like, in the movie cast that was just in the movie cast yeah. mentioned but yeah absolutely it's yeah, a, the last podcast so, it's a retro I mean, retro run yeah yeah and like I think I do agree with you there Tony it's, it could definitely help with the nostalgia stuff and Crash obviously killing it right now with that franchise Um, I think it's going to only help bring some of that Oh, I mean, yeah. Platformers I, are killing it right now. <laughs> People are all about these platformers. Yeah, it, it's so funny that <laughs> it, it's really weird to think about because um, one of my big criticisms of the the Wii U was that it had like almost nothing but platformers for the majority <laughs> of its life, and you know it was you know they sold decently, but now it's just like everybody's like, oh yeah, platformers, I want to play that game. Like, okay, like that that's fair, totally fair. Um, but you know, yeah. We, I would love to see a new Mega Man. I would love to see a new Contra, um, Castlevania, obviously, anything like that. So, yeah, hope it hope is successful. And I mean, going from at least the Switch eShop, it's already number one for the best sellers in the past two weeks. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, I continue on. I let's see what else. I played Splatoon. Uh, not 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 enough yet. I mean, it's I'm not going to give an opinion. It's only thirty minutes of 
45 minutes of, of Splatoon so far. Uh, just playing the single player. The just playing the single player. Well, I turned off the motion uh, in handheld because I just don't. Oh, it's, yeah. it's exactly like you I feared, though. It's exa- do that. You don't know how I play. <laughs> do do you don't know how I play handheld. I am constantly fidgety moving. I move. I stand. I I lay back. I'm always moving, and I was constantly hitting the Y button to recenter, and it's just fucking me up. And it does matter about the angles, and I'm like, I just turned it off. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just saying it's it's like going from mouse to keyboard and going to a controller. And then I was against the motion too, but right. th- with this Splatoon, I have to say, they nailed the motion controls in Splatoon. Like, yeah. they I'm not saying I'm not going to use it on the console version of it, but I'm like in the handheld. I just it's exactly like I was fearing for me. I just especially in handheld. Really? <laughs> All right. For me, because I mean that's where I play it. Especially. Right. For I'll me. put it back on. I'll work. I'm only Same. I'm only doing the single player thing, so I I'll, think I'll you work should with give it. it a, I think you should just give it a chance. Give it like it. a couple hours. If you All don't like it after a couple hours, fine. Okay. All I did was that initial tutorial with it, and I'm like, I'm gonna turn this off, and, I'm, and I went and started the single player game. So I'll I'll just have to keep in mind it. the Y axis does, does not work. With yeah, motion. that's the tough part. Like that's why. Yeah, that was the. I I don't know. I, I guess I can. You're get only going left and right. So just remember, left and right with the stick. And then minor adjustments with the motion, it's, it's okay. really well done. And I'm hoping that more games that are like shooters just implement that in okay. for Switch. For Switch, yeah. All right. Um, I also have been playing, uh, well, I just kind of got started in also in Tacoma. Uh, for okay. Yeah. So Did I... you play um, Gone Home? No, no. Uh, so this one's a uh, space mystery um, that you're trying to to, to unsolve to solve, and I never played Gone Home. Um, it, it it is um, more interactive than a Telltale adventure, but I know it's very much like a graphic novel. Essentially, you're just playing, um, but you're integra- you're at, at least interacting with it. You're trying to solve the mystery of what happened in the spaceship. So uh, I'm like, again, it's not a long game. I heard it's only I, I'm only thirty minutes in, but I, I'm it, it's not a long game from what I understand. Uh, mm-hmm. But it was a game that. Uh, people had said it was very good, and I'm like, well, again, thank you, GameStop. I've got this credit on Xbox, so let me pick up one of these games. So um, I got, I picked that up. So I'll have that done next week, and I'll let you guys know exactly how good that was. So, and it I thought was... it would be, it'd be cool to kind of like again. I threw it a bone. I'm like, we haven't really talked about Xbox games, and I'm like, that's an exclusive, and I'm like, let's, I'm gonna throw it a bone. No, I didn't realize it was exclusive to Xbox. Uh, it's on PC too. I'm sorry. I want to do it that? No, way. I mean like on a console. I figured it was on PC. Everything's on PC. Yeah. So. So, it, it is. I think it's a timed, or maybe it's not. Maybe it's actually exclusive. But was it made by the people that did? Um, it's full Gone Home. Fulbright, yeah. It's their second game. Okay. Has anybody else played Gone Home? Or I have it for free. One? Yeah, I know everybody has it for free. Is on it like? Is it like supposed to be like a creepy feeling game because you're just by yourself the whole time? No. There are parts. Uh, it's not intentionally think. supposed to be that, but like I said, uh, there are parts in that game where, you know. I, I felt it because I'm just like, why am I? And I felt kind of stupid. I'm like, why am I feeling this way? Because I know this isn't like a horror game. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. It. I, I, this game made me jump for a second when I'm like, it's not. I know this is not a horror yeah. game. Like I know this. Yeah. That's why I was asking. Mm. I've gone home to the same thing. Because I did it earlier. I'm like, why did I do this? Well, it yeah. is. Got, I mean, you're kind of like trying to figure out what happened. So it's yeah. like, well, it's a mystery. Yeah. Your imagination starts running wild, and that's where it could kind of creep you out. Is when okay. you so they let still have so that, hey, they're good to report. They still have that effect because <laughs> yep. it just happened it's, to me. So yeah. um, it's it's true because like literally you're just like why like not to spoil but like I don't think you know it's, it's, it's fine. Just, I don't but, think but, you got to go into a basement. It's a, it's a house, but like you're just like oh I don't want to go down there. Like why would I go down to the basement? That's the worst place to go when you're alone, you know, yeah. obviously. In a game, you know? <laughs> right. We've been trained. Yeah, we've yeah, been we, trained in right. video games that this is not good to be by yourself in a, in yeah. a dark area. Yeah, so, uh, but, you know, you feel silly. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But, that, no, that's really cool. Maybe I'll get it um, on PC uh, eventually at some point. I, I got Gone Home for cheap on a sale or something like that. Yeah, but, I mean, um, it just launched. It'll, it'll but... probably be in, like, a Humble Bundle at some point, yeah. too. Yeah, oh, yeah, this has definitely got that written all over it. But I was like, ah, eh, I'll give it a... I'll give it a you know, a nice, nice free throw of money because, uh, you know, GameStop credit. So yeah. pick that up and uh, pre-order t- Cuphead. So That's cool. Yep, got that. And uh, that's pretty much all I've been playing game-wise because I didn't bring my game, my Switch out with me. So, <laughs> Corey? Uh, well, kind of keeping in that same vein, I've actually been playing, uh... shoot, what the fuck is that game called? Stream... Str- 
strange uh, life or strange. Oh fuck! Second life is strange. Life is strange. That's it. I knew. I, I knew. Yes. I knew what you meant. Yeah, I knew what you meant. Yeah, yeah. I knew. No, I knew what he meant. I was like, strange life. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm like, no. I've been playing that because I've had it for like ever. And I'm like, ah, oh, I just gotta play this now or at some point. And I went to play Overwatch, but I have not been able to get on. I kept getting kicked out. Oh. And so I was like, well, let me just pop this in while I can't play Overwatch. So. You know, got that going, and I was playing. I've been playing it for a little bit, just uh, messing around. But it's it's interesting. Graphics are pretty bad. I mean, it's yeah. an old game, so that's what you can't expect it to be good. But the story is pretty pretty good, and I'm kind of I'm getting interested in seeing where it goes. You're you're this girl that has time rewind, re- rewinding powers, yeah. yeah. It's it's on my list. It's something I was waiting for, and I'm glad that I did because you know it came free on. PlayStation. Yeah. I know. I was like, God damn. I, 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 it's like, I should have played it before it went free. At least I would have got my money's worth. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of so. why, you know, it's funny. It's like, it is kind of why I want to start Injustice fast because that's the kind of game, from, in my opinion, will drop quickly. Um, okay. Yeah, so I'm like, I have like Yakuza and I have Nier, but like, I feel like those are going to stay up in the upper ranges anyways. They'll drop. They both, they both, all three of those have been on sale for half off already. No, thirty nine ninety nine is not half off. Well, okay, it's close. I mean, thirty-five dollars. Kuz has been. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen Nier for less than thirty-nine ninety-nine retail. I would have picked it up. Um, not what I've been up to, but part of um, what was it? Uh, fucking platinum games. What's his name? Uh, God, Yoko. Yoko. Yoko san. No, no, no. Um, Kamiya. Oh. Kamiya. You know, guy behind Bayonetta. Uh, yeah. Wonderful yeah. one hundred and one. Uh, that's not, yeah, yeah. Uh, he actually, yeah, he actually said publicly that he thanked um, Yoko uh, for near saving Platinum. And like the way he made it sound, like was that the success of uh, Near, like pretty much saved Platinum Games as a company uh, oh, wow. in their wow. in their time of need. Because if you think about it, like their last game, their, the last worked on game by themselves was Bayonetta Two, and that was. Like two, three years ago, we and they had right, and they had Star Fox Zero, which they like collaborated with, but we don't know what to what extent like was them. And then a bunch of little, cancelled. right, exactly, a bunch of like you know licensed shit, that just right, licensed yeah, the turtle just to game. keep the lights on, yeah, right, yeah. exactly. So that was just like the success of this really. You That's know. good, good to hear, because then they can get back to work on some good stuff. I want to see that. So, you know, now that I have a Switch, I'm like, let's see some mm-hmm. Bayonetta stuff. I'd like to see some uh, remasters because I never played Bayonetta. So yeah, well, the success of Bayonetta on uh, PC, I think, hopefully will. Um, and Vanquish did great on. And Vanquish, yeah, oh, yeah, Vanquish, and I think they just said they're coming out with Vanquish. another Sega game on. Uh, on on um. On PC, what was it? Uh, I forget. Until you say Dragon Force, I'm not going to be nah, too involved. <laughs> so, we can always talk about uh, Platinum here, Jim. I know. Well, no, I, was just, I thought you were talking about Sega. So. Um, yeah. Well. All right, uh, Tony, you're done, Corey, right? Uh, yeah. That's, All right, Tony, anything no, else you've been up to? No, just a little bit of... So- oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I did start playing Hearthstone, oh, the okay. new expansion, because that came out. I, I've been thing. playing Hearthstone. What's the Frozen, little, the Frozen Throne, or what is that? Yeah, Frozen Throne. Okay. So the gimmick behind this is that the le- like a lot of the legendaries are Death Knight versions of all the hero classes, so like Death Knight Rogue, Death Knight Warlock, stuff like that. So it gives you like it upgrades your hero ability power and gives you like a buff. Um, or minions or something like that. So, pretty interesting. Sh- uh, shook up the meta a lot, which is you know always good because now people are brewing new decks and it's not just like, oh look, it's these three archetypes every single game. Yeah. So um, it's really exciting putting together new decks and trying to figure things out and yeah, see what find works find that there. combo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cool. Uh, I also picked up Blaster Master Zero because the Shovel Knight DLC came out, uh, and for the first two weeks it was free, and I got all the DLC stuff for free. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to reward them for this because, you know, whatever. That's awesome that they did it's, that, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome that they did that. And I was going to get the game at some point, but I was like, I'll, I'll buy it on retail. Like, it's $10. Like, I'm fine with paying full price $10. Like, what? It dropped to $5 maybe? Like, that's fine. I'll, I'm will i okay with that. Mm. So I haven't played it yet, but uh, I'm excited. And there you go. Just more nostalgia factor. Blaster Master. Yeah. Bringing it back. Yep. Mm. Reliving the childhood. Hopefully Cave can... stories out again. I mean. Yep. Exactly. Yep. that. 
Yeah, yeah, that was great. Uh, I never played it originally, but I'm just glad I got around to it now. Isn't that like Wonder Boy or something? Like, that was a Sega. Yeah, was Wonder Boy. Sega. Yep, exactly. I want to play that too. <laughs> that I think... Uh, I'm definitely waiting on a sale on that one because as m- cool as the game looks, like the mechanics have not aged very well. Yeah. It's one of the early, early, early platform adventure mm. games. So. Okay. All right. Um... I think that's all we have, yeah. I think that's going to wrap up episode 357 of the Gamescast. Thank you, listeners and viewers, for tuning in. You can write us podcast at allgeek.net. Follow us on Twitter, All you can Geek. Like us on Facebook. I think I forgot to do that in the movie cast, actually. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, anyways, if you're watching both, I hope you are. Uh, tune in to the movie cast. Uh, tune in next week. We'll have what we've been up to more. Like, uh, game-wise, I can talk more about Tacoma. I'm going to have it done because I think it's only a two-hour game. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, so I, I guess I could take as long as I want with inter- interacting with the objects in the environment. So, um, but all right, that'll that'll wrap it up. Thanks for listening. Zombear. Zombear.